With a minute 44 left in the Big 12 championship game, Nebraska kicker Alex Henry kicked what Frog fans hoped was the game-winning field goal for the Cornhuskers. As time ran out, University of Texas quarterback Colt McCoy threw a pass out of bounds to stop the clock, but as clock struck zeros, Nebraska rushed the field believing they had won. After review, one second was added to the game clock, which was enough time for Longhorn kicker Hunter Lawrence to win the game and lock the national championship spot for Texas, locking TCU out. After the game, Longhorn coach Mac Brown predicted the Horns' bid to the national championship game. Yes, I'd like to congratulate Nebraska on the great effort. Bo had them ready. I think we can all say that Nebraska's back. Uh, they've got uh, really good football players and. To start the season four and three like they did and, and end up playing as hard as they have the remainder of the year and coming out and playing like they did tonight is a great credit to them. Also like to credit our guys. That's uh, I think 25 out of 26 wins. Uh, I think it's like uh, 19 and four with three points or less at the end of ball games. And these guys know how to win. They've got tremendous character. Uh, they never give up. Uh, they uh, are as good at one minute offense at the end of the game as anybody in the country. And we were disappointed offensively that uh, Nebraska handled us a lot of the game, uh, but we handled them. So it was a defensive football game. Uh, they made a couple of plays in the kicking game. Uh, we were lucky when they kicked the ball out of the bounds at the end on the kickoff, and our guys uh, took it the length of the field, and Hunter hadn't missed a kick all year. He had one blocked, and he had a 50-something yarder hit the uh, the goal post so we knew we'd have a chance to make it. So I'm uh, really proud of the guys and excited about uh, playing Alabama for the national championship. You think you got a, Texas got a little bit of home cooking there at the end? No comment. Question on the rear platform and then we have one to the right. Uh, what was the explanation the officials gave to you? I haven't got an explanation. I just got it. came down from a replay. I haven't gotten it. What, what we do, as uh, pretty much with any any replay situation, is first determine if the play is reviewable, uh, which this one is because it involves a, a clock error at a critical time in the game. And so uh, what we did is we knew right away that you had the potential for, you know, when, was the, when did the ball hit out of bounds or was the clock? And so, you know, we immediately changed the officials. Uh, we let replay, I mean, let TV know that we're we're reviewing the play. And then uh, Broadway TV, you know, sent us a, you know, a shot where we had the flat of the ball. They superimposed the clock. Uh, and so it's it's by rule of, you know, question is when the ball touches something, there's time on the clock. And, and it was, there was a second left, so we picked that back up. One second is not a very long time. But any Horned Frogs dreams of winning a national title this year were dashed through this field goal in just one second's time. Travis L. Brown, TCU Daily Skiff.